Hello everyone. Is the AI coming for our jobs? Can ChatGPT investigate and understand Kubernetes alerts without any human in the loop? That's what we're going to find out today. And I have here a Slack channel with Prometheus alerts on Kubernetes. And we're just routing the Prometheus alerts through an open source project that I work on called Robusta. And that lets us pull an extra data about each alert, like what ChatGPT has to think about it. So I want to pick a hard alert. Here I have an alert for a crashing pod. And I can see here the logs for that pod. And this is a boring alert to pick. This is just an application issue. So let's take something that's a little more challenging that sometimes people don't know how to fix. And I want to take here an alert called QPod not ready. And this is just a default alert from Q Prometheus stack. And take a moment at this alert as a human and try and understand why this is firing. And here's the metadata for the alert. And we see that this alert is firing on example pods. And here's some other data that Robusta itself pulls in. And now we're just going to ask ChatGPT. And what's going on behind the scenes is this is now sending it. It's using the open source project. And it just is contacting ChatGPT. And it's sending ChatGPT a query that says how to solve. And it plugs in the alert name on Kubernetes. And we get back that response. And let's take a look at that. OK, how to solve QPod not ready on Kubernetes. One, check the pod status. Mm, that advice is not great. I mean, the pod is in pending state. That's why we have here QPod not ready firing. So that advice is so-so. Check the pod events. Use the kubectl describe pods command to check pod events. This will provide more information about why the pod is not ready. That actually is really good advice. In fact, let's go up a little bit. Just collapse that. Let's go up a little bit. Here's the alert. And this is the output of kubectl get events, which Robusta itself is pulling in. So this is what you would see if you ran kubectl get events and you filtered it on this pod. And you can see here that this pod did not trigger a scaled up. So the auto skater didn't kick in, but zero out of eight nodes are available. Eight nodes did not match the pod's node affinity selector. So this pod is not running because there are no nodes that have uh, the right affinities to actually run this. So this is actually very good advice. In fact, if you check the pod events, you would in fact see why this pod is not running. So we'll give, so far we're one out of two for chat GPT's advice. Check the pod logs. This is really dumb advice. Um, you can't check the pod logs because the pod isn't running. So that's, it's not, that, that advice is. Now, number four, check the pod resources. Uh, this could be good advice, actually. Let's say the pod wasn't running because there aren't enough resources available in the cluster. Then you would see here something like zero out of eight nodes are available. Eight nodes do not have enough memory to run this pod. So this is actually good advice. So we're two out of four so far. Check the pod containers. Mm, this advice is kind of meaningless. Um, you use the kubectl get pods command to check the status of the pods containers. If the containers are not running, then the pod is not ready. Like, yeah, that doesn't, that's true technically, but it doesn't actually mean anything. So that device is so-so. And last, check the pods network. Use the kubectl get pods command to check the pods network status. If the pod is not able to communicate with other pods, then it may not be ready. I don't know what that actually means. That's kind of generic, like bland advice. So um, what do you guys think? Is ChatGPT close to getting this right? Um, does it have some more way to go? And could we actually, if we went back over here to the source code for this, let's say we plugged in here how to solve alert name on Kubernetes, and then we put in the template here when the pod status is X, Y, Z, and the Kubernetes events are whatever, if we plugged in more data here, would we be able to get a better answer? So let me know what you think and feel free to open a PR to see how we can improve the output. Thank you.